Today we're gonna make a super fun Santa Cam nightlight. Everything I use will be linked down below. You can get these night lights on Amazon like I did, or you could see if your Dollar Tree has them. The Amazon ones are slightly better quality and my Dollar Tree literally never has anything good. So, but you could use either one. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Allison and here on the Allison Crafts YouTube channel, I empower you to try new crafts every single week. So subscribe if you want winkly inspiration and shoot me the thumbs up if you like this video. Let's get started. All right, guys, so you can't laugh at me. I have mine hanging off the table because I couldn't find a small enough screwdriver to remove the top part. So I started by sanding with 400 grit sandpaper, just like a super light scuff. I wiped it clean, and then I needed it to be flat, so I had to hang mine off the edge. You can remove that piece, so do that if you, if you have the, the screwdriver small enough. I'm using the red gloss from the Crystal Act Company to paint this red. And I'm just using a Taclon brush. So you just want to put on a little bit and carefully get to the edge and cover the entire surface. It is going to be a little transparent, so you can um, do as many coats as you need. If you can remove this piece, you also could spray paint this if you wanted. But let this dry for four hours, and then you can come back and do another coat. So you can see that it's um, a little transparent so I went back and did another coat again each coat just needs to dry for four hours and do however many make you happy again I'm using the red gloss but you could spray paint or use something else if you want I have to jump in here before you cut your vinyl and put it on your nightlight plug it into the wall to see which orientation the nightlight is and to see which way you want your vinyl the way your outlet is installed may change the way you want to add your vinyl. You might not want to add it like mine, or maybe you will. I think I have weird outlets, but nonetheless, do a test before you add your vinyl. So then I made my design in Silhouette Studio. If you want a, um, this design for free, go ahead and click the link down below to grab it uh, from my website. Completely free. Just put your email in and you'll have access to this SVG and loads of others. So I did the Santa cam portion in white, and then I made the belt just with a couple rectangles. It would be easy for you to recreate as well, but I just did a couple of rectangles in gold. Um, like the buckle would be gold, and then the actual belt is in the black. I did subtract out that buckle so I wouldn't have overlapping vinyl. It would just fit right in between the... Um, black squares so I have two going and the first one I put this buckle on first and then I added the Santa cam which I don't recommend because I didn't get it quite centered so you'll see how I do it differently in the second one and I just used my squeegee tool to help me remove that so the second one I added the Santa cam first because then I can get that placed and then I added my belt buckle I recommend doing it this way so you can have everything centered. I got my lens from Creepsake Shop. I will link that down below. You could get some from the Dollar Tree and I've seen them at Michael's um, if you're lucky, but I'm gonna use the E6000 glue to add this lens to the acrylic. Now, you may or may not want to use E6000. It's not the greatest stuff in the world, but I know it works, so that's what I chose to do. So I have a good amount of glue, but not too much that's going to um, squeeze out. And then I just let that dry. And then I forgot, this is completely optional, but I used removable vinyl because that's all I had. So I did a couple coats of Bright Tone over the top of my vinyl. Again, this is completely optional. Um, if you use permanent vinyl, you definitely don't need to add layers on top, but it will help secure it. So I did a couple of coats and let them dry for four hours each. So you can see mine is not the right orientation. I'd probably want it vertical, but this is the way it looks when it's lit up and it is still so super cute. If you want another easy Christmas DIY, join me in that next video.